What's going on guys, it is Caleb, and today we're going to be continuing our HTML basics course. Um, last, we got a, our last video, we got our, our nice little introduction to what HTML is and how to create our first HTML web page. Today we're going to learn about our body elements. Now that you know how to set up an HTML document, it's time to learn about the things you can display in one. So, let's go ahead and head over to Code Academy and... Let's get started. Paragraphs and headings. And let me just go ahead and reset my editor right quick. We're definitely making good progress. We've learned when and why we use HTML. We've also learned how to set up a HTML file with tags, title the, the web page in the head tag, and create paragraphs within the body tag with the paragraph tags. The next step is to give our paragraphs heading using heading tags. Let's start with the heading 1 tag, which marks something as the most important. Everyone knows that the most important font is the biggest. Ask yourself, what's the page title? In the body section, create a heading. To do this, create a heading 1 tag. Give your content a heading. It can be anything. Close your elements with a closing heading 1 tag. Your heading should now be between the H1 and the H1 or closing H1 tags. Underneath the heading, create two paragraphs using P tags with whatever content you like. So, let's go ahead and look at our HTML document and see what we have here already. So, we have our doc type, so that's good. We have our HTML. Within our HTML, we have our head tag and we displayed our title which is headings and paragraphs now we're getting out of our head tag and we're jumping right on into our body tag now as we learn with um, headings and I'm sure we'll learn more about this in the next exercise is the importance of the h1 h1 is obviously important so meaning that it's the first heading tag because there are six total but since it is the first heading tag it will be the biggest one so um we can just say something like I am or I'm I like I am I am a header and we tag or we can say header one tag now it wants us to compare the size to a normal paragraph tag and what you'll see is that your font size is um, pretty different you um, a heading one tag is uh, much larger but let's go ahead and write a paragraph and we can be like um, I am a paragraph and open a new paragraph and say um, I'm another paragraph alright so if we just head over to our um, headings and paragraphs tab we have I am a header tag or header one tag really and as you can see um, our paragraph font size is a lot smaller. It's probably like 10, while our um, header one tag is probably like at 16 font size. So let's go ahead and click submit. And we got it correct. So let's move on to the next exercise more about headings. HTML actually lets us use more than one heading size. There are six heading sizes where H1 is the boss and h6 is puny h1 the ceo h2 vp of fancy town heading 3 is the director is the director of some stuff heading 4 is the middle management heading 5 is lonely assistant and heading 6 gets coffee for everyone else so below we'll ask you to add headings of various sizes feel free to write whatever you like for the headings your code currently has one heading one tag and two paragraphs. Add a he heading three ta um, tag before the second paragraph and add a heading five after the second. So if we were just go ahead and reset this. Now we see it wants us to add a heading three tag before the second paragraph. So here's the second paragraph. We say H3 and we can say... Um, we can say something like header 3. That way we'll know how to identify it. And it wants to add a heading 5 tag after 
the let's see then add a third pack okay so it wants us to add a heading five header five and I, I I just say these um in the size difference so like if I say heading one I mean an h1 tag um it's just easier to say so we can just say header five and now I want to say it wants us to add another paragraph and we can say para and if we go over here I can see header one tag is the greatest and as we go further and further down the line and get from one to six we obviously get smaller and smaller this is our header five this is our header three and as you can see our header five tag is a lot smaller than our normal paragraph font which is unfortunate but let's go ahead and click submit and we got it right so let's move on to the next exercise using every heading and let's just reset our editor. Nice work. So far we've used headings of three different sizes. Given that there are six heading sizes all together, we should make use of all six. Even H6, our lowly or <laughs> our lonely coffee getting in turn of headings, needs to feel wanted. So add three more headings to the code, make use of heading two, heading four, and heading six. Make sure to close all of your tags. Under each heading, add a short paragraph. Don't forget paragraphs need opening and closing P tags. So, let's just go ahead and make a header 2. And I like to say header 2 so we can see the size difference. And we can do another paragraph. I'm going to say blah. And after our header 2, we can do a header 4. And just putting header 4 between that so we can see what it is later on we we'll put something like lol and then our final header tag which will be a h6 tag we can say something like header 6 hmm genius and after that we can do a paragraph tag once again and we can say uh, um, YouTube cool okay let's submit this okay so as you can see in our results page, we have I'm a header one tag, and then you have a paragraph. And as you can see, they get smaller and smaller and smaller this, um, the higher we go in the header tag. And what I want to do, um, I'm going to delete all these paragraphs, and um, I'm going to show you wh exactly what I mean when I say this. So let's go ahead and create an H1 tag. And you don't have to do this. I'm just going to do this to show you. And... I'm just going to say header 1. And then an h2 tag, header 2. Oop. And an h3, uh, header 3. Oop. Running out of white space. Uh, now we're on our header 4. And now we're on header 5. Ooh, not header, it's H5. And last but not least, our H6 tag. And then we go to our headings and paragraphs tags. You can see how header 1 is the biggest, header 2 is second largest, and it just keeps going on and on and on and just shrinks. So, guys, um, if you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up if this helped you out. Um, don't forget to subscribe, comment if you ever get stuck. Um, if, you, if this really helped you out, guys, make sure to um, like the video, like I said. This really helps me out a lot. And until next time, guys, thank you for watching another HTML course. Thanks.